Henry made good progress. When they reached Edward Station, his driver stopped the train beyond the platform. Then Henry gave a special signal. Beep, 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 beep. I need help, please. Beep, beep, replied Duck. I won't be long. Duck buffered gently up to Henry's train. He was not coupled on. Henry would then be able to run on without stopping when they reached the top of the hill. Ready, whistled Duck. And off they went. Soon they reached Gordon's Hill. Push hard, push hard, puffed Henry. We're doing it, we're doing it, replied Duck. Henry was pulling his train harder than he realized. Duck felt the weight on his buffers slacken. Then Duck noticed something else. There's no sign of a tail lamp, he puffed. He whistled, but there was no reply. Meanwhile, Henry had noticed something too. My train's getting heavier, he thought to himself. I'm slowing down. Then there was trouble. No one was hurt but a strong smell of fish hung in the air. Next day, workmen found the broken tail lamp at the bottom of the hill. Sir Topham Hatt spoke kindly to Duck. The accident wasn't your fault. We should have checked that this tail lamp was fixed on properly. We'll soon have you in working order again. Thank you, sir, said Duck sadly. Thomas told me to be careful about fish. They got me in a right pickle, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs>